Hello, what's up, YouTube? Ronix with it and Natural, and in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to color grade in just Photoshop. So, basically, in this tutorial, we want to emphasize more on color grading in Photoshop. In my recent tutorials, I've been focusing more of combining Photoshop and Capture One for color grading, but in this first tutorial, I want to only focus more and emphasize Photoshop color grading. So, let's kick in and start learning about how to do your color grading in just Photoshop and camera roll to be specific for most of this very tutorial. So as you can see, we already did the uh, retouching of this very image. So you can see the before and after for the image. So as usual, when you're going to do color grading in camera roll, always make sure that you create a stamp visible layer of all you have done by holding down the shift alternate command e on the keyboard or shift alternate control e on the keyboard to create a uh, this stamp visible layer i've tried to hide this other layer because uh, it contains my other the how we're going to color grade the image so we want to change the image from looking like this uh, to looking like that i hope you can see how we just want to transform this image so basically you're going to create this stamp visible layer and you're going to duplicate it by hitting Ctrl or Command J to have two layers so that you can do adjustments later on in the tutorial. I'm going to name that layer color, color grade, just like that. So I'm going to select the color grade layer and we're going to come straight at filter, then come to the camera filter just like that. So it is going to open the image into the camera. So for this very image, I would love to go straight down to the camera calibration option. So just select here on the edit option and come to the calibration option. So under calibration, we have red primary, a green primary and blue primary. So we're going to play around with these colors to see what works best for us for this image. So as usual, I'm going to come to the red primary, the saturation, I'm going to uh, reduce on the saturation of uh, the red primary to around 10. And I'm also going to come to the saturation of the green primary and just knock it down to around, I'm going to be using a 10 for this tutorial. And you can see you're already getting those uh, nice colors in this image. And we are going to do the same for the uh, saturation of the blue primary I think to around 10 and you can see so far where we are right now then after I have done uh, those adjustments in uh, the calibration option um, uh, we are going now to come all the way up to the HSO panel and this is where the magic uh, is going to take place even more you're going to come under the luminance so luminance is more about the lightness or darkness of a given color. For example, if at all I get as uh, the orange and I turn it towards the right hand side, you can see the oranges in the image are getting uh, brighter. And if at all I move it towards the left, you can see the oranges in the image are getting darker. So to reset, we're just going to double click right that to reset. So we're going to target the oranges. So for this case, Every time I'm doing color grading for images, I always target the skin tones and I kind of love to mute them. So remember skin tones usually after you have done your calibration option, we just want to mute down the oranges for the skin tones. So you're basically going to come and mute uh, those oranges just like that. So for this case, I'm going to go with around 12 and you can see uh, for the color mixer option, the before and the after, before, after. We have just muted uh, down the oranges in this very image. And after we have done, so we're going to come under the hue option and you're going to uh, play around with, the, with this even more. So I'm going to add some little bit of uh, greens to the oranges, just slightly to around one. Then since I want to tamper with the greens in the image or in the background, I don't want the greens in the background to conflict with the skin tones of the model. I'm going to come to the greens and I'm going to shoot 
uh, heal them rather towards uh, the gray, the blue side just like that so when you move it towards the left hand side you're going to be making the greens yellow and towards the right hand side you, you're going to be making the greens you're going to be making rather the greens are blue in the image so when you're done doing all that what is left is uh, for the photoshop color grading but before you can kick in into photoshop you're going to first of all do the eye whitening for the image remember eye whitening is going to basically transform your image uh, by a great great mileage so come and select the adjustment brush tool in photoshop and now set it so this is why you have to set up the adjustment brush tool first of all since we have a uh, color in the white area of the eye or some warm tones we have to select or move the temperature towards the opposite of uh, yellow and and that is the blue side so we have to move this towards the blue side so we're going to go with around 18 and add some kind of tint <coughs> sorry to 65 and you're going to move the highlights right up to around three because we want the eyes or the whites to pop and the whites too. So the left have been left at zero. And you're going to come all the way down. And since we have some color in the white area of the eye, you're going to come to the saturation option and you're going to knock it down to around negative 60. And when, when we are done doing so, we are going to increase on the size of the adjustment brush tool by using the brackets on the keyboard. Or you can basically use this uh, size option and you're going to uh, start painting over uh, the eye area to uh, whiten it just like that. So this is not all for the color grading because you're going to be doing some little bit or some more adjustments in uh, the Photoshop application or software itself. So let's just do the eye and teeth whitening and you're going to be done with this uh, in just a few seconds from now. So let's uh, zoom in by holding down uh, Command Plus to zoom in just closer and just paint over the teeth to give them a nicer uh, kind of feel. So I think we are done doing the eye and teeth whitening for this model. You are going to basically open the image back into the Photoshop application or software. And right now we are going to come to the selective color option. And you are going to click it. So first of all you are going to come to the black option. So drop down and select blacks. So just want to intensify on the blacks just like that to around 3. And also come to the yellow option and you're basically going to move uh, this towards uh, the left hand side but you're going to notice that this is going to add some kind of uh, some warm tones to the image but that shouldn't be your worry actually because you're going to be countering that or cooling down the image just in a bit so you're going to come down here and you're going to select the photo filter option and under this, we're going to select the cooling filter 82. You can see the image really looks uh, too cold for my liking. So come to the density and just uh, drop down uh, the density of uh, the cooling filter just like that. So I think at around 7, we are good to go. And let's see what we have done for this very image and the color grading. So I'm going to put this in a group by holding down shift and clicking on the color grade option and hitting Ctrl or Command G on the keyboard to see what we have done for the color grading. So this was the image initially before color grading and after, before, after. You can see what we have done and how we have been able to transform this image in just photoshop so this my friend has been a story about how to color grade your images in just photoshop and if at all you have learned something from this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you're watching from this channel for the very first time ronix from ronix photography and i'll see you in yet another one and don't forget to keep creating and keep practicing if at all you want to be a better 
photographer and retouch retoucher rather out there keep creating